What's going on guys? It's Terrence from Screen Life Printing and Too Fresh Fishing and today you guys are going to do a little behind the scenes with me. I'm in the shop and I will be doing a few of the design layouts for a few of the t-shirts that I'll be doing in the giveaway. So I'm going to take you in and allow you to see me take the design from printing to actually putting it onto the screen and then from there we're going to go into the print area and we're actually going to ink the design onto the t-shirts and then you'll be able to see the final product and again i thank you guys for keeping up with the two fresh channel i thank you for your support on the screen life printing and here we go all right guys so we have just finished printing out our first design and this is actually the first design that i created for two fresh and at that time it was I'm Too Fresh, but I actually changed the name of it to Too Fresh and just threw the fishing on because we are dedicated to catch, photo, and release of freshwater fish, primarily bass. So the first thing I wanted to do was pick fun at you know who. So I'll hold this up for you. And this is actually my first design so this is the one that we are actually going to be taking into the print area or the exposure area in our dark room and we're going to actually transfer that over to a screen and then we're going to take the screen off put it on the press and then we're going to actually put this onto a shirt and hopefully a long sleeve as well and let you guys see how it looks and then I'll decide what's going to go on the back if anything's going in the, on the back. Okay, here is the exposure unit that I'm using and this is the last design that I just put on the screen. So we are going to take this one off and slide this one on. All right guys, so we have the current design on and our screens are here. So I'm going to stop the video so I can turn the light off because the brightness from the light can actually cause the screen to start exposing. And this is a one color design, guys. So we're only going to need one screen. And there we are. I'll hold it up so y'all can see it. So there we go. You see the green film? This is what exposes. So you have to be real careful with that. So what I'm going to do is just put this onto the machine. I know it's dark, so bear with me. So I'm going to set it so that the design starts about right here, even though you can't see it that good. And then I'm going to Close our unit down, cut on the vacuum. And what the vacuum does is it puts the design flush on the glass so that when I do this, the light is directly exposed and it gives for a better exposure. All right guys, so we're almost done with the burning process and I just wanted to quickly show you the screen that I just finished doing. This is the one that was already on the exposure unit. So we're gonna go in and check this out and I'll be back. All right, so our timer has just gone off. I did cut the light off prior to it stopping so that it wouldn't be too bright when I started recording. And once the suction releases from the screen, you can actually take your screen off. You'll see your design is still in place and this is how you put it on with tape, masking tape, just to make sure if you have a two color design that it stays in the same place. We'll bring it right over here to where we'll add some water onto it. On both sides so we can start actually washing out the design area. All right guys, I just wanted to let you see the process. You see those areas? That's where the emotion is washed off. 
and anywhere you can't see the light at, that's what still has to be washed out. All right, guys, we are back, and I know it's still dark, but look. See how you can see light through all of that? Wherever you see the light, that's where the ink comes through. So that's what is called burning the image into the screen. Look at that. But look at that. That is freaking awesome. See the detail in that? And what you're looking for is to make sure that you don't have a lot of random holes in this so you don't get ink anywhere else other than your design area. All right, guys, so after you've burned the screen, you'll notice that the screen is wet. So what does that mean? We gotta dry it. Where's the best area to dry? Right out here in the sun. So I usually take it and sit it right on top of my car or one of these areas here to make sure that the sand or dust doesn't get into it and get into the open areas of the screen. And with the almighty sun, we should dry within the next five minutes or so. So while this is drying, we're gonna sneak in and see if we can get the last screen that we did covered up and put tape on it so we can start printing on that. All right, guys, so we are back in the printing area. And before I start, I just wanna give a shout out to my daughter, Trey Trey, because she's the person who inspired this design. She called me one day and she said she had a design idea and which was, I'ma let you catch me. Didn't even know what a mullet was, but between her brains and my ability to design, we came up with something. So baby girl, thank you for this design. And it is too fresh. What we're gonna do now is we are going to tape off the screen by putting tape on the edges of the inside as well as the outside and cover up our registration marks so that when we're printing and putting ink onto the t-shirt that we don't get ink from the outside of the screen to uh, run over to the shirts and damage the shirt. All right, so what I'm using is just regular shipping or masking tape, which allows me to easily put or tape down the screen so that I can prevent from having any spills through the screen. And very quick process. I measure out, break, tape down. And if you notice, I have it sitting on top of another screen and that's because I don't want our initial screen to sit on the palette because we do put adhesive on the palette and I don't want it to transfer over. So you can use printing tape or painter's tape to do the same thing. I will tell you that this tape does after a while, leave the residue onto the screen. So when you're cleaning it out, just be sure that you clean it off. Or when I'm cleaning out, I have to make sure that I clean it off in order to get the tape out of it so it doesn't sit in the substrate, which is the actual silk fibers that are in here. And then making sure that I do cover up the registration marks so that I don't have shirts with X's on them. And what I do is I have my light up here, so I'll hold my design either up here or to the regular sun in order to be able to see if I have what we call pinholes, which are unwanted holes in your screen that could allow the ink to go through. I don't see any, so I'm just gonna tape off the inside and when you're doing the inside of wooden screens, a lot of time what I come in contact with is the ink when I'm printing will get into the wood and stain. So what I started doing was taking the tape and putting it all the way up around here just to protect the wood so that we don't have a lot of ink stains in the actual wood itself because it allows you to not know when you're getting ready to print or use a screen whether or not it's it has wet ink on it or whether it's clean so i'm gonna go through this taping off process right quick and we'll be back all 
All right, guys, so we are officially taped off and ready to go. So now what we need to do is remove this and put it back where we got it from. And we need to put the screen that we're going to be printing the design on onto the pallet. So I'm gonna bring you over here right quick so you can see what's going on. Here's this four color press. And right now we have the catch photo and release design, the back of the catch photo and release design, and the arm Too Fresh logo, as well as the larger Too Fresh logo, and the larger Too Fresh with the hook logo, and then the Too Fresh with the reeling rod logo that runs all the way across. And now we're going to put the, I'm gonna let you catch me on the pallet or on the press so that we can get ready to start aligning and printing. Alrighty guys, so now we're at the alignment process and you can't see it, but I'm going to show you the registration marks on the screens. There is a registration outline right here on the main pallet that these little registration marks line up with to allow me to make sure that everything is centered and we don't have a tilted design on. So I'm gonna get this centered on the screen or on the pallet and we'll be back. All right, so I'm just gonna slide this down and try not to knock the camera down while I'm doing this. And all I'm doing is taking my registration marks and I'm lining them up with the center registration mark on the pallet and just doing my adjustment from right to left, forward and backwards until I can get the screen exactly where I want it to on the pallet so that when I get ready to print, I have a, a line print and I have the ability to consecutively get a precise print. So where I'm at right now, I'm comfortable with the alignment and the registration and I'll show you guys as soon as I tighten this last registration mark down or that reg micro registration down this is what we're looking for see that little red line right there that's our center point and we're looking to make sure this one and this one are properly aligned as well as, see right up here, we have the pallet ends here. I need about a nickel's area worth of space here to get a good flood and a good print. And if a lot of this screen is sitting up on the pallet, it'll give me more than that. So what I'm doing is I try to put my design to where I can get almost on the edge and then clear the edge down here so I have a lot of room to work with and I'm gonna tighten everything down and right now we're good to go so this design is going to be black and just on any light colored shirt so let me get a test shirt and let's see what we can make happen all right guys so I move the registration palette up under you guys so that I can make sure that I have the palette that I prefer printing on for just one single colors in front of me. And I could clean it off, but this is just for a test run. So I have my test shirt here, which is just a pink polo, one of my old ones that I had. And I'm going to stretch it onto the palette so that it covers the entire palette. And the reason that I'm doing this is because we need the area that the design is going on to actually be able to be covered so that you don't get ink onto the actual palette. And if I was doing a larger shirt like one of you guys' shirts, the actual shirt would cover more area on the palette, neckline would come up here or drop over, and then it wouldn't be as small or tight fit on here with the small youth shirt that I'm using. So 
we're going to get a little bit of ink from here and put it on the palette right here and then we're going to do a test print just to see how good the print comes out if we have coverage on it like we need to and if we have any pins pinholes and this is to ensure that when we're printing any official two fresh shirts that we are not printing shirts that have ink running out of them or designs that have ink that it's bleeding that are bleeding onto the shirts so here we go all right guys so we're going to make a quick test print and see how we look and let you guys look and see what we have that is freaking awesome look at the details in the mullet too fresh I'm liking this dropping the design into the dryer well we'll let it come through and once it's through we will be good to go and what we do is we press heat press every shirt before we send it out to make sure that it has a soft feel when you receive your shirt so that you're not feeling abrasive ink on top of your shirt when you touch look at that I'm gonna let you fall not all right guys we are back I am hot and it's time to go but we have dry the screen taped it off I lined it up and printed out a test shirt and cleaned the screen back off and we are getting ready to actually print the first shirt for the giveaway and this is a ladies medium so let's see how this goes all righty guys yeah forgive me for because i forgot to bring my tripod but we're gonna make it do what it does and here we go and let's see how that does Ooh, sweet get a load of that now you tell me that's not too fresh look at that detail look at that too fresh heck yeah nice all right ladies so there you go and now we have to do is put that too fresh stamp on the back and y'all be good to go. All right, so here we go. Get you ran through the dryer. And as soon as we come through, we be done. So this is gonna wrap it up for the day, guys. I gotta get out of here because I am burning up. And this has been a Too Fresh Fishing and Screen Life Printing collaboration. So check the site out, www.toofreshfishing.com. If you're looking for printing service, you can hit me up at www.screenlifeprinting.com. That's screenlifeprinting.com. Peace.